Hey everyone, this is Kai from Too Much Bricks and Anthony from Anthony the Lego Man. And we are back in business, baby. Back <laughs> doing the cousin collab. So, if you guys have stayed tuned to our channels, you know that we both have been doing collabs. And, uh, yeah. So, definitely go check out the collab that we've done on Anthony the Lego Man's channel. And without further ado, let's get into this video. So, what we're going to be doing today is reviewing a uh, Lego set that we, well, not really set, but custom one or customized. And without further ado, let's get into this. All right, guys, so here it is. And this was actually customized from the actual Spider-Man mech. Mm -hmm. I just upgraded it greatly, put a custom figure inside, kind of made it look like the, almost like the Iron Patriot armor from the end of um, Avengers Endgame by putting that arc reactor in. Um, obviously, I took out the giant um, web pieces and made it into a hand. I added a red katana as like a sword. This is just really not modeled off of anything again. And I added a giant cannon <laughs> for the hand. I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. And um, I also did add a giant gun on the top that can be pivoted up and down. It's like a giant laser cannon. And I'm going to go ahead and t um, let Ant tell his thoughts on it and point out some stuff as well. Um, and then I'm going to show you a very, very cool feature on it. So, go ahead, Ant. So, I think that this is a really cool um, custom uh, build. Because over here looks like the gears there. I like how like uh, Kyle put, like, I, I like to call those the A pieces. As you see, they kind of look like A's for anything Lego. Man. No, I'm kidding. But I like the detail on it. it. looks really cool. Here's some more gears, some more levers. Pretty cool. So it's kind of like a bionicle, as you see down here. Because those are what the bionicle pieces is. Ball we, and stuff. Yeah. So we got, like, a katana up there. I really like the gigantic laser at the top, if you guys can kind of see that. Just a laser at the top. I like the custom character. And the little, like, hand, kind of. And then, like, this gun right here, which you can put studs in and maybe spin it around. And then it shoots out the studs. So I think this is a really cool um, custom character. So, yeah, Kyle, you can take it back. All right, so the special feature was I installed two light bricks in the top of the arms. So you can kind of see that they're visible here and here. And what that does, obviously, is just lights it up. To can't really see it in the video. It's an actual blue and red light. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that in a better look. All right, guys. So I shut off some of the studio lights. And you can see that they're actually on and flashing. Sorry that the picture is bad, but that's because I shut off the lights. It's a bit fuzzy. Um, so it's just blinking blue and and red because match, matching the color scheme of it. And I like that effect. I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, guys, so that really completes it for this little uh, review of our custom uh, mech with the character inside of the thing does lift up. You can take your character out and put it back in. Again, modified from the actual Spider-Man custom. Yeah. And you know, overall, did you like it, Ant? Yeah, I think it's a really cool um, custom, uh, well, custom, I don't know, would it be a mock? Mm, well, I didn't really take the apart mostly the legs or just took off some stickers kept the overall feet design uh just changed up a little bit. so i'd say customized yeah. um spider-man mech you could also put spider-man in if you want and we're gonna take you back to the main area and wrap up this video for you guys all right guys we are back and thank you guys so much for watching we hope you enjoyed we really hope you that you found this um helpful um also definitely make sure to subscribe to definitely good supporters of our channel andrew does legos or Andrew does more Legos because he started up his new YouTube channel. Also, subscribe to Lego Ninja Customs and more, who does amazing customs. And um, also have a bit of an announcement before we end off this video. Definitely stay tuned for more collabs. And we just heard that they're gonna that they Lego or people might actually want to start putting warning symbols on the Lego boxes that say "Do not eat." Come on, really? You're making Lego sets from ages 3 to 99. I mean, I get if you're the 3-year-old or maybe even the 99-year-old, you can't decide what to put in your mouth anymore. But if, if for us in between, come on. If you can't decide to put a Lego piece in your mouth or to digest it or not, then don't go to the Lego store. If you can, stop by. I think they're having a clearance sale. See you guys later. Bye-bye.